My name is Trey Simpson and I manage Bedford Greenhouses. We definitely are in a harder to find area of Augusta back in National Hills, kind of near the canal, near the Lake Olmstead area, way back in the neighborhood itself. But the thing is, is we want to make sure that every time customers come out here, you come out here, you never forget this place. And we have all the time people just come out here. They're just like, oh my gosh, I, I had no idea this was back here. There's no, there's no way something like this exists in a neighborhood. And then they walk around and it's just like an unforgettable experience. And that's just what we always try to promote. My specific duties, I would say mostly include a lot of our, a lot of our orders, a lot of organization on the side of Bedford that is plants that we don't personally grow. Um, we grow about 80% of the products that we sell, um, mostly annuals, perennials, on the shrub side of things, the house plants, the trees, we don't really grow ourselves. So I'm kind of in charge of making sure we're getting new ones, we're getting plants that do well in our area. I'm always doing research on what's new, what's hot, what people are interested in. I'm part of the, uh, the team, we're up front. I mean, we're the first people you see right when you pull in the parking lot. Um, and so I have a, a, a good group of people that work with me and we are right here every time somebody shows up. When you show up to Bedford, I want it to be, like I said earlier, an unforgettable experience and to have this place always looking like there's just something new, there's something fresh, there's something different and it never getting boring. Um, that's just kind of what, what I do. For sure during the pandemic, we had we had a huge increase in sales. We primarily closed just inside. We were still doing online orders, um, call-in orders, that kind of stuff. We had a huge increase in sales in flowers, especially just because people were, were home. They were redoing their flower beds, their pots, their yards, and a super large increase in houseplant sales. Um, everybody was, I mean, stuck at home. We had people working from home. And so there was just this, this large interest in getting more plants in the house, make it more enjoyable for us to be at home. And so we, we just saw this interest in houseplants as a whole, as well as very specific houseplants. We had to teach ourselves a lot. So we had a, a lot of people come out here starting their, their vegetable gardens, their herb gardens for the first time, um, buying their first houseplants, really starting getting into this, this plant world. For that to be one of the things that people got super interested in, being in this world for the past five years, to have more people to, to talk to about it, more people interested about it, is really cool as well. I think bringing that, that living aspect of plants into our houses, um, into our rooms, just kind of in our day-to-day our -day life at home was super beneficial. I mean, that, that desire to always be taking care of something, to be doing something, to have that responsibility is really important. And plants are a little bit more forgiving um, if you forget about them. So I, th I think that was kind of had a lot to do with it. You know, none of this would be possible without the people here. Every single person who works for Bedford plays such a vital role in what this place is. We've all grown so much together through this and they've just done such a fantastic job adapting and teaching and also just passing along this knowledge to everyone who visits us. But it's not about us and what it really comes down to is stewardship. Intentionally cultivating and nurturing what's been given to us and just serving our local community. It has been such, such a joy uh, working with Millage and Joanne. It's been, it's been an honest blessing just being a part of what they've created at Bedford. Um, they've just done such a good job turning Bedford into what it is today. And it, it couldn't have been done without them and just without the personal touch and the personal flair that they put really all over it. We 
want more people to know about plants. We want more people to know about Bedford and to be a part of this with us. Supporting local and supporting our, our local nurseries, our local businesses that sell plant is, is, is really important and re really vital for our local economy.